<gasps> Where to start? <laughs> <laughs> and for me, when I work with the archives, is almost a constant, nearly a constant state of wonder. And it opens up a whole different world. I think we take more and more for granted that we have that we just have audio and video of everything now, that it's hard to remember that there was a time when that really was not the case. I think it helps all of us have a more nuanced and better understanding of history when we get to hear these voices who have firsthand experience. Indigenous people have been, for a long time, very willing to appropriate non-native technologies of various kinds and, and indigenize them and make them use them for their own ends. Create their joy, their families, which is a different way to write Native American histories because it's not all about violence and, you know, clashes of civilizations. And sources like these help all of us understand the particulars more and the lived experiences of, of people from, from those times. Just making sure that material is ready and waiting for them, for that next generation to come and seek it out. It's a means to, to provide access that otherwise wouldn't be available. But also then a means to provide richer scholarship surrounding the recording so everybody wins. Yeah.